Hey everybody, today we're going to be checking out a product called Instahang. I picked it up at a small town hardware store that was closing up and I thought that it would be a neat little product to do a review on because I do have a poster that I'd like to hang on my wall. So I figured this would be a perfect time to do it. Instahang, the secure way to hang anything in seconds, easy to use, just push and hang 10 pounds per peg, no tools, so it replaces hammers, nails, and hooks, no holes, pegs leave only a tiny pinhole, it includes Instahang 90 piece pegs, so it includes the Instahang and a 90 piece set of pegs. That is the item number, and that is all the other information on the back. So I don't know if they even have this product anymore, so I don't know if you can even get refills. But I'll have to look it up, and I will put it up on screen during the video to let you know. I thought it was a kind of a pop top open kind of box, but I guess not. So it's everything in the box. So I will take a picture of the instructions and then put it up here on screen so then you guys can get a better look at it. So I'm going to pause it here and I'm going to read the instructions so I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. So there are the hangers and the pegs. Pretty neat. They even give you a laser level. Looks like a laser level and a tape measure. That is a nifty all-in-one tool. Well, the button was in the on position, so either the battery is dead or it does not come with a battery. A little suction thing to stick it onto the wall. That is something. I need a little screwdriver. So 
So it looks like it takes two triples. Oh, we got two packs. And then here is the hanger. So it kind of reminds me of those um, slap kind of staplers. So this piece is all metal. This is metal. And the side casing is plastic. And then the instructions it says to... Squeeze the three little dots and pull back. And then this is where you can store your stuff so you have everything orderly available. And you twist this, I guess. And yeah, so it's like a little staple gun. It's like a staple gun. Oh, let's get one of these open and check it out. So those are plastic. So this is for you just to kind of stick them on there like that. You kind of got to put them in on an angle. And then you can kind of twist it in after it's set. So these are attached. So there's no little ribbon for you to reuse it. And I don't know if there's a way for you to, I don't think you can single load these. go over like that You can at least hold six caps on the inside. So you put them in this way.
really takes some force to get it in there. And that is all ready to go. Oh, and these spots here are to take out the pegs. So they gave you a nice little remover part. So I'm going to get set up here to hang my poster and I'll bring you guys back when it's ready. So I marked out here on my wall where my poster is going to go. But I'm going to have to kind of figure out how to do this as I go. So I'm sorry that I can't show you guys how it works properly, but I'll do my best. So my poster is 32 inches wide. So I measured from my mark there and my mark over here. And then I put this piece of tape in the middle at 16 inches. I used the measuring tape. And then I put some batteries inside the laser level. And then I just stuck it here on the back of my chair so I can get the fine-tuned measurements. And then I'll have to use my other measuring tape to get uh, the 16 inches at the top. Because I'm going to have to put it up here. I don't know if you guys, okay, you guys can see that. So I'm going to have to put it up here because it will hang from puck on a string. So I need to make sure that if I want to have it in this orientation where I have it marked out on my wall, then I need to have it at least six inches higher for the droop of the string. One thing about crappy tape measures. Put it right around there. So nice. It would have been nice if they would have put a white strip right here. So we just gotta go down near the bottom, and it's nice that they put the little nub on. I'll show you guys in a second. Because that's level right there. Really moves. I want to try it there. So it didn't come out. So I was able to get it out. But I think it just might need a couple runs. So there's the one that I got up. Now I got to get my twine ready and I'll bring you guys back when I'm ready. So there we go. I got my poster up. It is my map of Skyrim. I had this laminated when I got the book, shortly after I got the game 10 years ago. It 
it came inside this book. So I decided instead of letting the map get destroyed, I laminated it at UPS. And I'm going to be doing that to my Fallout 4 map soon. But I finally had a spot to hang up my map. It is a little bowed out right now. But that's because I had a hard time putting the um, the poster clips on. But I wanted to finally hang it on my wall. So that's what I dedicated that space on my wall for. So now when I go to any of the other locations on the map, I'm going to just take it. But now I'm able to flip my map over because before I just had it taped to the wall and I wasn't able to flip it over. So after messing around with it, I decided just to take off the extra little piece and just hang it with one and it's working a lot better. Instahang device, it worked pretty good. But I think I gotta hit it a little harder for the peg to come out. But other than that, it worked pretty good. Keeps everything all nice and neat. But I think it's a pretty neat little thing. So if you guys liked the video, hit the like button down below. Comment down below if you have any suggestions for future videos. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber because I have a lot more content to come. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.